So it's just because of that bulging effect that that is the highest point on Earth. So you're the farthest away from the center of the Earth if you climb to the top over there. Good morning internet, it is quarter past seven in the morning and welcome back to the channel, welcome to Anjomarca here in Ecuador. You can see it's been hustling and bustling since six this morning, it's been busy, there's market day today. So I'm gonna see if they can also sell me a breakfast and not only big bags of produce. It has been raining since yesterday afternoon, throughout the whole night it has been pouring, pouring. But it seems to be clearing up a little bit now. Ah. Hola. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo se llaman este? Claudia. Claudia. ¿Cuánto le doy? Solo. Sí, un dólar. Sí. Tengo la pera. Ah, pera también. Sí. Pera también. Está bien, está bien. Sí. sí. Gracias. 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 Tome una mandarinita. Ay, ok. Gracias. Gracias también. Uh, Mango. Le doy. Hola, buenos. Um, fresa. Sí, fresa. Un, ¿Para un dólar? Sí. Pon para este lado, ve. Ahí, está bien. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> right. Now let's give me some bread. Mm, Hola, buenos días. Ah, es pan de chocolate. Sí. sí. Uh, un pan de chocolate y un pan este. Sí. Uh, más uno pan de chocolate. Sí. Okay. <laughs> Está bien. ¿Cuánto vale? Cincuenta centavitos. Oh, ok. Gracias. Gracias, señorita. Okay, gracias. Well, I decided I'm going to make myself some strawberry sandwiches for breakfast and I have a chocolate bread as well. And well, this is enough to uh, last me all day as well for lunch, so that is good. Bueno, chicos. Gracias. Que le vaya bien. All right. Such sweet people. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's been so much rain. Let's hope today is going to be fine. First, I have to find out which way to go. I have to probably ride through the market actually. I can probably go this way. Then I don't have to ride through the market. Kind of a race against time again before the rains come uh, come through. So let's see if I'll make it again uh, dry today. Distance-wise, it's not very far. It's 117 kilometers. I also haven't even told you where I'm going today. I also didn't bring out the map. 
Oh dear, I am slacking. Anyway, I'm riding to uh, Chimborazo today, which is another volcano, which is super high. I'm going to ride to 4,400 meters today. And uh, yeah, I'm just coming now from 3,000. So let's see how that will go. I am probably going to suffer the altitude again, but uh, it is what it is. I asked the people here about the road condition of the route that I'm going to take today, but nobody, nobody knew. They all said, uh, yeah, we don't uh, really go that way. So I guess it's going to be a surprise. I think it mostly depends on uh, the amount of rainfall that has been around here. I think this already classifies as another town. Plenty of rainfall here in the night as well. By the looks of it. What a mess. Oh, oh, chicken. Oh. I hope the rain didn't cause any like big landslides anywhere on the route. Because that's exactly what happens in this type of uh, area. See, this is what I mean with landslides. Oh, luckily, it didn't block the road. One house here, just on the side of the mountain. Oh, there's another house down there. Wow. Pinlopata. Welcome to Pinlopata. Finally, the sun is even coming through. Hey, I see. Look at that view. Wow. I'm averaging again less than 30 kilometers per hour on this road. It's just so much nicer to ride through the mountains here than take the highway because that was basically the only other option that I could see was to go all around this mountain range and take the highway. But what's the fun in that? Well, you can have uh, this. <laughs> yeah. at the beginning of the big climb I would say because I still need to climb almost two kilometers 2,000 meters and if I look at the mountains in front of me I think now it's really going to start so I better enjoy the little bit of sunshine because up there I'll be back in the clouds most likely Look out for a little shop to buy some water because I need to actually hydrate a little bit more. Okay, I must be able to find a shop here. I have arrived in Sim Simiatuk or something.
Hola. <ríe> Buenas. Hola. Buenas. Um, busco agua. Como un litro. Ay, es un litro. Sí, eso es un litro. Ok, uh, quizás un... Es un pequeño. Sí, un litro y medio. Ya, yeah. gracias. Ah, uh, Chimborazo. Sí. <laughs> ¿Cómo te llamas? Oh, wow, qué linda nombre. <laughs> ¿De Chimborazo a dónde vais? No sé. <laughs> ¿Usted está aquí? Sí. Ay. ¿Y dónde vives? ¿En Quito? No, es, soy de Holanda. Yeah. ¿Pero así da la vuelta paseando? Estoy viajando. Ah. <laughs> es en bolsa, bolsita. Sí. Ah. ¿Cuántas horas para hacer uno? Oh, bastante. Bastante, ¿no? Meses. Meses. Ay. Ay, suerte entonces. Chao. I see you. I see you. Just reached 4,000 meters, and uh, well, still climbing. They're doing some road works. Oof. Closed. Ah. Ay, muy bien. Mi nombre, dos dólares. ¿Qué horas vas a regresar? ¿Hoy regresa o mañana? Me voy mañana. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Ok. Gracias. Look at this beauty. Got a a little bit dirty. <laughs> Look at this. Oof. Gracias. Not sure what I had to pay for. For entering the municipality, maybe. I don't know. Tourist fee. Oh, you can see I'm close to the volcano. This is all volcanic soils that I'm riding on now. Unfortunately, I have not spotted the volcano yet because it's just all in the clouds. But let's hope that uh, maybe tomorrow morning again it's cleared up. Oh, which way? Not sure. I'll take this one. I'm hoping to stay the night here. These are supposed to be like sort of community uh, cabins. 
The only thing is, I have no idea if there's anybody there. <laughs> but we'll find out. There is a horse. So I guess that's a good sign. The rest, there is nobody. Hola! Buenas! Hola! Bien? Bienvenido! Gracias! Venga, venga! Gracias! Uh. Buen Buenos días! Oh, uh, has it free, no? Sí. Welcome to my little, cute little room. Uh, they gave me loads of blankets, which is nice because it is absolutely freezing up here. Okay, before I forget again to show you on the map, in the last video I left Kieler Toa and then I went down, then I went to see the market, the animal market, and then I went back and then I rode to Angomarca. And then this morning I left, I took this road until this place, more or less, and then I started to cut, uh, wait, when did I go, I started to cut across. Something like that to see me a look where I bought water. And then I did something like this. I ended up there. And then went like that. And then up. And now I'm staying somewhere here. And then here is the volcano. Let's have another look outside. Oh, it is raining a little bit. And no view on the volcano. Unfortunately, the volcano is still hiding in rain clouds, as it seems. See, but somewhere there is the top. Anyway, being so close to the volcano is super cool anyway, because this volcano, uh, the top sits at 6,300 meters. But because the earth is not a perfect sphere, but it's what's called an oblate sphere, which means that the Earth actually bulges at the equator. That makes that if you climb to the top of the Chimborazo volcano, you are the closest to outer space as any place on Earth. So that means if you climb to the top, you're even closer to the sun, the moon, or any outer space place than when you would climb Mount Everest which is a kilometer and a half higher than this volcano. So it's just because of that bulging effect that that is the highest point on Earth. So you're the farthest away from the center of the Earth if you climb to the top over there. Pretty special place, right? You get all these black volcanic soils and over there is a group of uh, vicuñas. They're wild and over there as well. They're a little bit far away. But still, it's quite cool to see them.
going back inside now and warm up and huddle in some blankets. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.